Welcome to the show. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're Everyday CNAs. Watch out. This Thursday is April the 1st, oh known my. as April Fool's Day. <laughs> Coworkers, and you know those residents, they love to be playing pranks and practical jokes on you, so be yes. aware. The tradition is celebrated in several countries. However, it remains a mistress of how and why this day has come about. Love to have fun with the pandemic still as strong as the day it started. Who doesn't need to come and put a smile on their face? Just remember this day is for fun. It is not meant to cause any harm. No, it's all for fun and, and games and everything. And also this week we have, um, which is Good Friday, Yes. And then right around the corner on Sunday is Easter. So we just want to tell you that if you're scheduled to work this Easter, thank you for your hard work and yes. dedication. You may not hear it all the time from the family members or your residents and clients and even the patients in the hospital, but you mean the world to them. And here are a few fun ideas you can do for Easter. Do a carry-in. Everyone knows that the Easter Bunny loves carrots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do a veggie tray with fresh fruit and cheese. Any type of finger foods that is quick and easy to grab. That's a That's good sounds, idea. Yeah, it is. And it sounds good right now. And, and since, since they're opening up everything, maybe we could do. Yeah. People could do that. That's true. No, everyone's not afraid. But you can still, you know, have those... Not for sure what you call them, the worker gloves that they wear for dietary. You can always leave that yes. where they can reach in and get the pinchers. Yes. There's a way that you can still celebrate. Yes. Um, you could also make an Easter bonnet um, out of your favorite um, hat. Yeah. You could also leave the little plastic eggs in the break room for coworkers or even in the residents' rooms so they can find them. But instead of filling them up with the, with the candy, Write out a little inspiration um, message. You know, thank you for your hard work. You know, you're you're awesome. Just think outside the box. You gave me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you can share some memories with coworkers and others about an Easter memory you have, and ask them to share one of theirs. Right. You know, because we haven't with the pandemic last year, no one really has. So no. go back to the you know the times mm -hmm. when you could. You Take your kids it. and do. Um, I did notice, actually, there in St. James, where the Missouri Veterans Home is located at, yes. there is a group uh, from the high school, and you could actually hire them to come out to your house, and they leave the Easter yes. eggs there mm -hmm. and filled with candy and everything. So if you don't get a chance to get out and, and do that, you know, check that out. And that's something that maybe you can mention to the activity department yes, or something I as will. well. Yes. But with the pandemic uh, still being felt and seen throughout the hospitals, long-term care, assistant living, as well as home health and hospice, Easter may not look um, the same at all. You know, loved ones still may not be able to come in. Easter eggs, Hunts uh, have been canceled and attending um, church service may not be happening. Right. So, yes, just keep in mind if you're scheduled to work, it is hard on them mm -hmm. as well. You know, Corinne and I would like to wish all of you a very blessed and thankful Easter. Yes. And don't forget um, to give yourself that golden egg, <laughs> that golden egg ticket, and uh, make sure you get registered for March. Um, on Washington on that special rally that we are having on April the 7th. And from both of us, Happy Easter! Easter.